Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Rusa. And I thought today we would talk about Magic the Gathering Top 10 Obelisk. So now, at number 10, we have Unstable Obelisk from various sets, being an uncommon with an average price of 10 cents. This one says tap to add one mana to your mana pool or pay seven and destroy target permanent. The reason why it's at number 10 is, well, it doesn't really have any um, mana value other than color. So maybe if you have an artifact deck, but it costs three to put it into play and then another seven to destroy target permanent. And I find that just way too expensive. And now at number nine, we have Obelisk of June from Commander 2013 or Shards of Valeria being common with an average price of 13 cents on the way of time of this video. And just to give you the heads up, the next four to five are going to be basically the same obelisk. It's just based on the varying mana. So this one adds swamp, mount, or forest, as most would use island or swamp for these type of things. This is why it's at number nine, and we'll move on to number eight, which is Obelisk of Bant from Shards of Valeria. It's a common with an average price of 14 cents on the market. And again, basically like the other one, this one has a more of a multicolor range, which would be more beneficial with the forest, plains, and island. So let's move on to number seven, where we have Obelisk of the Naya. This one has mountain, forest, and a plains with the three mana. And well, the picture is pretty cool. And the saying it says, centuries have passed since the plains shattered, yet the obelisks of each shard faithfully serve their long forgotten purpose. So let's move on to number six, which we have is Obelisk of the Grixis from various sets. Well, that's a really cool name. Being common with an average price of 18 cents on the market. So this is one is more, just a couple cents more than all the other ones. This one actually just providing a island, swamp, or mountain. So let's move halfway down our list to number five. So at number five, we have Obelisk of Esper from various sets being a common with an average price of 23 cents on the market. So this will be the last one of all these typical obelisks. While the next four are will be different from these ones. I really like the artwork for this one, and it does have the planes, island, and swap. And I believe that to be the best combination out of all the obelisks. So let's move on to number four. Which we have is Obelisk of Undoing. And this was actually one of my personal favorites when the set came out. I thought this card was absolutely cool, being from various sets, being rare with an average price of $20 from being Antiquities or $0.22 cents when it was reprinted in any other series. Costs one mana, mono artifact, which doesn't really exist nowadays, and it costs six colors. It says return any of your permanents into play into your hand. Enchantments on the permanent are discarded, can be used only on permanents you cast. Though it does not have a tapping ability, Cost one to put it in play, so you can actually can use it for an artifact deck just to get artifacts in play. And I personally love the artwork for this card. But let's move on to number three, which we have is Obelisk of Alera. It's from Conflicts, being a rare with an average price of 53 cents on the market. So it's really starting to get up there. The reason why it's at number three is yes, it does cost six mana, but if you're playing a multicolored deck, this one can do so much. So, you know, gain five life, draw a card. Creature gets minus minus two. Three damage to target player. That's, I think, very helpful. Two mana. It does say target creature gets plus four, plus four until end of turn. So it has all those abilities. Yes, it does have tapping. So I would say that is part of the drawback. But this is very cool. And the picture is not too bad either. So let's move on to number two is obsidian obelisk from dominaria united commander series it's a rare gold just for 45 cents on the market cost two mana it says enters the battlefield tap so it can either add a colors or add one mana of any color spend this mana only to cast a multicolored spell well if you have a multicolored spell which is very typical nowadays this card is actually very powerful for only costing two while typical ones that say add mana cost three this one is very helpful, I believe. So let's move on to number one. That's right, we have Obelisk of Erd. It's from Magic 2015 or Zendikar Rising Commander Series. With it being a rare, with an average price, that's right as well, $2.08 on the market. Well, this one costs six mana, has Convoke, 
which is very helpful. I do like that unique ability. And then it says when it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creatures you control of the chosen type get plus two, plus two. So with Convoke and having creatures of the same type, this card you could probably get out, you know, by turn three, which would be devastating if it could keep all those creatures in play with this in play. So this one's even very playable. So then again, this is the top 10 obelisk. And I hope you guys enjoy the video and have a good day and a good evening.